Hi and welcome to my video on dynamic theming with Provider inside of Flutter. So you can find the source and the article version of this video over at developer.school. We are going to be building this application right here that allows us to use dark theme or light theme across the application. So I've gone ahead and created a brand new Flutter application. Inside of our pubspec.yaml, I've added the provider package like so. I haven't added a version, but if you just leave the version out, it's going to get the latest, which is fine for our tutorial. So let's inside of our lib make a folder called blocks and the blocks will have a theme.dart and the theme.dart will import to start with the material package. And the material package gives us something called the change notifier. So we'll use the theme changer with the change notifier. And we'll set the theme data equal to underscore theme data. We'll then have a theme changer. It's going to be a constructor, which sets it to the value of our theme data. And finally, we'll have a get theme returning the theme data and a set theme, which takes in a theme data called theme and sets the current value of theme data equal to the theme and then uses notify listeners. So notify listeners is going to update everything that's currently listening to this change notifier. So I have a video already up about providers. You may want to watch that if you haven't used the provider pattern before, but I'm going to assume that you've already either read the article or watched the video. So once we have this theme changer, we can use this change notifier provider to give us the ability to listen to the value of the theme. As an example, let's now head over to main.dart and instead of returning a material app, we'll wrap it with a new widget. This widget will be a change notifier provider and that will be of type theme changer. So we'll need to import two things here. The first one being provider.dart and the second one being the theme.dart. So inside of our change notifier provider, we can pass it using the builder method a new theme changer with the theme data dot dark. So when we do that, what's going to happen here is it's going to use the builder method to return a theme changer that uses the theme data dot dark, which of course is the dark theme to generate a dark theme by default. Now, right now that's not going to work or rather it's not going to change anything. And to demonstrate how this actually works, we're going to extract this widget being the material app and we're going to call the widget material app with theme. So we return a new child of material app with theme. We don't need a constructor like that. And inside of the build context, what we want is a final theme equal to provider dot of theme changer and we'll pass in the context and that's going to give us access to that change notifier provider. At this moment, we can say theme is equal to theme.getTheme. And when we do that, you can see we now have dark mode. And that's because we're passing the theme data.dark inside of our builder here. Let's head over to our pages and home.dart. As you can see, I simply just have a stateless widget, which has some text and a font size. I'm just going to copy paste from the article at this point, and that's going to give us another home page, which has a very, very similar. Let's simply remove that import and instead import our theme.dart. And what this will do is give us a similar home page, but instead of simply displaying text, it's going to give us an app bar with the title of home. It's then going to give us a container with a column, which contains two buttons. And when we press either of the buttons, here are the sort of key features of the functionality of the app, and that's going to be setting the theme to either dark or light. So you may want to create your own dark and light themes instead of using the stock versions. And at this point, you would pass in, of course, a different version of theme data. But to make this super simple, we can now go ahead and click either light or dark, and we'll see the theme change throughout our app. And that's all possible because we have this provider.of and of course, that gives us the sort of listener for the current theme changer. And because we have the set theme, 
function inside of the theme changer that will then notify the listeners anytime that theme changes. And then inside of main.dart, this will update the current theme. So that's how we create a dynamic theme using, of course, the provider pattern. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated. And until my next video, I'll see you soon.